Hello everyone. Today I'm going to improve my live while component. This is a calendar component I developed in previous video. Now you can see this is what I developed so far. It's pretty static. Okay, stick to 2022, July, July 2022. So 28 days, it's not a full month, for all the days of the month, just pretty static content. Also, the 1st of July is Friday. It should have been placed in the fifth column of the row or of the week, if the, the week starts from Monday. So today I'm going to improve and uh, display it like a typical calendar so it will start from monday every week so what can we do so let's look into the code base so this is a view template for the calendar component two for loops to display all the days this is a calendar component the days is represented as a two-dimensional array. So first improvement I'm going to do, I'll reduce the for loops to, to one. So the data can be restructured. I don't need a two-dimensional. Instead, one-dimensional should be enough. So this, so this is the data I have changed, the data model. 28 days in the view template. See here, I use a grid template with seven columns to align the days on the page. The seven columns a row. That's enough. So I don't need two loops. So just one loop. Day. So columns per row, the number of columns per row is controlled by the grid template. I don't need to specifically use two dimensional array to, to present the structure, the row and the columns, simply just days. Okay, now I need to move the 1st of July to Friday, the fifth column. So I need to get the day of the week and then place some empty columns in front of it. Now let's go to a calendar component. In the get days, months, ideally I want to see something like this. So as 1st of July is Friday, I want to see four empty columns in front of it. It would be something like this. So apparently here I need to get the day of the week on uh, 1st of July. The first day of the month is year month. I know you see some bug here but let me firstly finish this line. And uh, the year should be this year the class variable so it's a year month so first day then we need to get the day of week and uh, we use date w you see here w will return return us numeric representation of the day of the week that's what we need and we need to convert the string to time so the first day string to time day of week now we need to use the array days as what we are going to return so a very classic for loop day of week now we need to see that five days so it's friday so we need to add four empty columns ahead of it so it's minus one 
increment by one. Okay, days empty. Okay, the second loop say we are simply add thirty one days to it. Let's skip. Uh, forget about the months, and then uh, let's put some static data to the rest of the array and return days. Now let's see what we have on the page. Okay, you can see the 1st of July has been pushed to the fifth column, which is supposed to be Friday. Okay. That's it. And you can see, I happen to see that 31st of July is Sunday. So everything is properly displayed. Now what if it's June? Say, let me change the calendar view template, not the view template calendar, this guy. So this is a page template, the calendar, the blade PHP. Again, let's look into the web PHP root. The calendar root will display the view template calendar, which locate in resources slash views folder calendar blade. So this is where we include the calendar live while component. Let's change month zero July to June. Apparently you can see June the first of June is Wednesday. So we need to so the last day of June is 30, 30 of June. So we don't have 31st of June. So this column should be empty. And then the other two here supposed to be empty as well. Okay. Now let me come back here. Go to calendar component. Here we need to know how many days per, per month. We use the same date function. We use t parameter. It will return us the number of car months. Number of days. The number of days here. Then we should be able to see the correct days or months okay to test we use february which is a classic month to see if it works so go to the calendar template the layout change to zero two so this is february okay in 2022 february has 28 days so let's see how we can add six empty column or cells to the component come back to code base the calendar component now we know number of days we know day of week And we surely know last day of the week is this year, this month, number of days. So this is the last day. Again, last day of week we use ver this variable last day so we know that day of week on that last day and then we need to know how many columns to add to add equal seven minus last day of week 
and therefore uh, this is a for loop increment by one days and empty string appended now let's refresh a page okay you can see this is perfect for different months we can properly display and uh, align them in the correct columns okay now let's come back to the live while documentation see what features i can use to conditionally render Now I want to add one feature that I want to use a gray background to these empty columns. So one way I can do is that I can check in the calendar Laval template here if the days is empty. The most straightforward way to do that is empty day as in if so if it's empty we don't need to use some background leave as blank transparent See this is how we can differentiate the days or months. So I can use some gray background here. So gray 100 or gray 500, 200, let's see, 200. Okay, now come back here, 200. So this is how we can display the, the calendar in a classic way. Before I finish, I'd like to add a header to the calendar so that you will know the week, uh, the week starts from Monday. Um, that's something here, it's the same script, seven columns. And uh, simply put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, the one last thing is that I like to get a text line center. So refer to the tailwind text line. So text center is uh, what I like to apply to each of the columns. I'm not sure if I, I can place here to the parent element. Yeah, so you can see now it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's perfect. And I'd like to add some margin top, say four. So a bit spacing between the year, months, and the calendar. Okay. I think that's it for today. Uh, it's a bit too big. So let me see if I can add some padding to this container. Say 
PX8. So uh, horizontally, I like to add some padding. So this is the, the padding. If you see padding PX, PY. So let me see PX2. So PX8. So what I'm using is PX8. Yes. So it's smaller, more space on both left and right, right hand side. Anyway, this is just some, some minor tweaks on the UI. So that's it for today. Mm. In next video, I'm going to add the option for year and the month. So user can choose different year and the month and uh, see the calendar correspondingly. And then next step uh, is to add some features so that when you click some any day of the month, you are able to add some note to it. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.